Hi, John C. Juliet here. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this very simple sleeve for your iPad, for your Mac, for Kindle, for Pocketbook, for whatever you want, because I'm gonna tell you how to calculate number of stitches for height and for length. So let's start. I have some scrape yarn from my previous video with a penguin. If you want to check it out, link will be here or in the description. And we're gonna use that to create some lines for our case. So let's start. So in order to find how many stitches we need to chain for the first row, we can just simply start chaining and check so that our first row would be a little bit smaller than we, what we need. You can simply check every few stitches when, when you see. For example, this is gonna be a little bit too much, I think, because it stretches out and we're gonna add more. So I'm gonna reverse one. Mm. No, maybe I still need that one. Okay, let's start with this. And now we simply single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. But first, we might want to make sure that we know where it starts. And this is our last stitch, and we single crochet three times into it. And now we do the same thing but on the other side. And we also hide the tail.
and into our first or last stitch we single crochet two more as we already have one in it so you see if you stretch it out it's gonna fit perfectly but if you leave it it's gonna be a little bit smaller that's what we need to have like a tight fit so for the next however how many stitches we need we just single crochet into a circle without any additions without any additional things I'm gonna switch to a different color maybe in five rows we'll see and the length will be the height of our iPad. So let's do that. We'll still be marking the first stitch so that I don't get lost when the row, the row is over. If you want, you can also switch to double crochet on this level so that your work will be done faster, but I like it this way.
now I want to change the color to this one. In order to do that, we need to cut the yarn, loosen this very last finishing, and finish off this very chain with a different color. Create a simple double knot so that the yarn doesn't loosen and start the row. This way we have a very clean change, you see. It's it's not like it's not mixed up, it's rather just change of color. And now we do maybe two, three rows with blue. straight out. Perfect, right? So before we continue, I want to show you a little life hack how to understand how much you're in have left and how much we gonna need like are we gonna be able to finish the row with that color so with the single crochet um, we need to make sure that we have at least three times the circle around so three and three and we still a bit left still have so this should be enough for a double crochet you should multiply this by two so at least six circles around the piece that you're doing should indicate that it's enough so let's really see. As we indicated, it's enough. It was actually enough. And the next we're gonna take again our cream one and do the same thing, finishing last stitch with this color and doing the knot with two ends. We're gonna cut, cut it after we finish.
Let's see if we have enough to finish the row. Probably even for two rows, right? By the way, if you want to learn the basics, how to single crochet or how to double crochet or how to do Tunisian crochet, I have a whole new playlist on YouTube, so check it out. And also, if you like this video and you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Which colors would you choose for your iPad case? If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'm doing a lot of videos on crochet, on art, on drawings, on everything, arts and crafts. So you know, you might find a lot of helpful and interesting information there. Subscribe! Well, it's not gonna be enough for in the next row, 100%, so we're gonna cut it and switch to the next color. And we again go back one step. And use this yarn to finish it off. check how it fits. It should be tight. Ta-da! Well, two-thirds are done. How many left? Maybe five, six rows and we're done. See, that's a very easy project to do. No, it's not enough. So we're gonna undo our row. <laughs> so what do you think? Which color will be next? 
leave it in the comments. I have a scrap yarn of this color. It's a bit different quality. So it's more like a velvety rather than plushy like here. And I have plushy in this color. So, but it's a new one. So I think I'm gonna try this. See how it goes. If it's gonna be cold because this one is not stretchy and this one is more stretchy. We'll try with this one and then see. Let's check it out. Well, it looks nice. Still not sure about this color though. Color is okay, but it looks a bit thin. Okay, I'll redo this color three more rows and get back. I'm happy with the length I have, so it fits perfectly and when it stretches out, it's just perfect sleeve for our iPad. Now what we want to do, we want to create like a beautiful seam along the edge using slip stitch. It's gonna be our very last row. And we wanna make sure that slip stitch is not very tight. So we still have enough volume to, to use it as an iPad cover. So now we're done and we need to finish off, cut the yarn and hide it. For the very final stage, we just pull through what we exist, what we have currently and pull through the previous stitch. looks good enough and then we just hide this end later let's try it on it 
just like I want it to be. I have enough space here, so it's hidden. But at the same time, we can seamlessly put it off. So, this is the finished product.